In this video, I will talk about the exponential family, which is also sometimes called the exponential dispersion model or EDM. Now, what does it mean for a distribution to be part of an exponential family? Well, it means that its PDF, its uh, probability density function, looks like this, meaning it has an exponential. And in the exponential, you have one over a function of some dispersion parameter, which is this A of uh, phi. And after that, we have in parentheses the value of the random variable, this y, times theta, which is the natural parameter in the exponential family. And this theta is not necessarily the usual parameters you see in uh, for those distribution. It is. It could be. It could be the the same parameter, but it also could be um, some other function of, let's say, the mean parameter. Okay. And after that, uh, you subtract from this uh, another function of theta, which is v of theta over here. And besides that, you have another component which doesn't involve the natural parameter. You have this function here, c, which is a function only of the variable and the dispersion parameter, but it's not a function of the natural parameter, which is meaning that it's not a function of the mean parameter. And for GLMs, of course, the assumption is that the link function, that the means of some distribution is related to some uh, predictor variables. So what we care about is only these thetas and not, for this we don't care so much unless we need to evaluate this dispersion parameter phi. Okay, you might look at this and think, um, this doesn't look like any familiar distribution that I ever seen. Well, I want to show you that actually it is. You can write many of the known distribution in this form. For example, let's start really easy. Let's start with the Bernoulli distribution. So for the Bernoulli distribution, we know, sorry, this is equal to P Y one minus P one minus Y. But we can write this as the exponential of uh, ln of p of y, uh, 1 minus p, 1 minus y. And we can write this as y ln p plus 1 minus y ln 1 minus p. And this, this is from uh, the rules of logarithms. And we can further write this as e and eventually we arrive at this. Okay, so we can see that for this Bernoulli uh, distribution, what is A of phi? A of phi is 1. There is no dispersion parameter. What is theta? Theta is this thing over here. So the natural parameter is ln of p divided by 1 minus p. And also remember that in the Bernoulli distribution, the mu, the mean, is also equal to p. Okay, and now uh, the last thing is what is b of theta? Well, we need b of theta is minus ln 1 minus p. The reason for the minus is here we have a plus and here we have a minus. So uh, we need a minus for it to be 
uh, a plus again. And if we write b of theta as a function of theta, well, let's see, what is p um, as a function of theta? We have to reverse this um, equation over here. So we have theta is the logit of p. This is the logit, yeah, the log of uh, p divided by 1 minus p. And the inverse of the logit is the sigmoid. So p is the sigmoid of theta, uh, which is e to the power of theta divided by 1 plus e to the, to the power of theta. So if we go back to ask what is b of theta, well, b of theta is minus natural log of 1 minus p. And if instead of p, we put uh, a function of theta. This is e to the theta, 1 plus e to the theta. OK, this is minus natural log of 1 over 1 plus e to the theta. And this is just natural log of 1 plus e to the theta. OK, and so we can write the PDF uh, of the Bernoulli distribution as a function of the natural parameter, meaning as a function of theta. And we will get that fyy, and this time we will parameterize by theta, is equal to e to the power of y theta minus tan of 1 plus e to the theta. OK, and all of this was for the Bernoulli distribution. Let's take another example. Suppose that y is exponentially distributed with lambda parameter. Then fyy, the PDF, is lambda e minus lambda y. OK, this one is much easier because what do we get here? This is equal to e to minus lambda y plus natural log of lambda. And so again, the a function is just 1. We don't have any dispersion parameter. The natural parameter is minus lambda. And b of theta is minus lam theta. And we can also write this as minus lam of minus theta. Now, you might be wondering why I don't also write the c function. Um, well, this is because um, that the c function, again, is not so interesting for us at this moment. We don't care so much about it. And so um, it, the mean is not related to this function. So we won't be using this right now. And when we differentiate with regards to the parameters of the model, the parameters are only related to theta. They are not related to c. So the c will, uh, once we differentiate, will become 0. So for now, we don't really need this c function. OK, so this was well, the exponential distribution. What else? How about the normal distribution? So what's the PDF of the normal distribution? It's 1 over square root of 2 pi times sigma exponent of minus 1 over 2 sigma squared x. I'm um, sorry, here it's y. The parameter is y. y minus mu squared. OK, so how is this uh, going to be um, written in an exponential family form? Well, let's open this thing over here. OK, 
Okay, so what we want is this thing. This is what we care about because it has a, a function of y times some function of mu, which is relating to our natural parameter. So this is equal to 1 over sigma squared y mu once we divide the minus 2 and the minus 2 here minus mu squared divided by 2 and this is this thing over here and now the y squared we're going to put behind uh, outside this parenthesis and also this thing over here will make it into minus natural log of square root 2 pi sigma. Okay. And now it might appear more easy for you. So what is the dispersion parameter? Well, the dispersion parameter is sigma squared. Okay, and what is the natural parameter? The natural parameter is just mu. What is b of theta? b of theta is just mu squared divided by 2. And c of y and the dispersion parameter, which in our case this is equal to sigma, yeah? This is this whole thing. This is the c of y and phi or y and sigma because this thing over here is only is a function that only depends on y and phi. So the normal distribution is also part of the exponential family. And in the next video, I will show some other distribution that are part of the exponential family. Thank you for watching.